It starts as an idea, a flickering point of light. UC San Diego's Ravel Medal recipients know that research and creativity are both challenging and challenged. They know the vagaries of trial and error, the joy and grind of research, but they continue to seek, to innovate, and to dare. Y.C. Fung, the father of bioengineering at UC San Diego, created the fields of biomechanics and tissue engineering. V. Ramanathan, a leader in atmospheric science, revolutionized monsoonal research through his work on the Asian brown cloud. Roger Reynolds, a composer, writer, and producer, pioneered sound spatialization, intermedia, and algorithmic concepts. Palmer Taylor, a cutting-edge genomic researcher, founded the Skag School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Roger Ravel likened the university to a cathedral, the center to which all men turn to find the meaning of their lives and from which emanates a wondrous light, the light of understanding. Our Ravel Medal medalists are among the many whose inspiration and understanding have lighted the place we call UC San Diego. Y.C. Feng studied engineering in China, continued his work at Caltech where he wrote an authoritative textbook on aeronautical engineering, and then in the 1960s he made an inspired change to bioengineering. And in 1966, he came to visit UCSD while he was at Caltech. That was 50 years ago, we just celebrated the 50th anniversary of bioengineering due to Dr. Fong and Dr. Swifox, beginning of this uh, new uh, program at UCSD. And uh, 20 some years later, it became a, uh, the Department of Bioengineering. In mid-October, Professor V. Ramanathan celebrated the signing of the Kigali Accord, which bans super greenhouse gases used as refrigerants. It's been a long journey from a young engineer in India to a world leader in atmospheric research. I got into researching the atmosphere by sheer accident. I, I was an engineer in India, and I came to the US not to pursue higher studies, but more for the good life. My advisor, on the day I arrived, he changed his interest from engineering to studying the atmosphere, so I switched with him. And now I think about that, that's probably the best accident that ever happened to me. I started working on the greenhouse effect of the Earth's atmosphere, and I stumbled onto this major discovery that chlorofluorocarbons, which were used as refrigerants, are a super greenhouse gas. He's a Pulitzer Prize-winning composer whose works have been performed across the world from the Royal Albert Hall in London to Lincoln Center in New York. But Roger Reynolds began his career studying engineering physics. I started to compose uh, rather late uh, relative to most artists. It wasn't until I was 25. I had pursued uh, music only as a teenager and in that regard just as a pianist. When I went to the University of Michigan, I entered the engineering physics program, which was an experimental effort to bring theory and practice together. Came out to California, worked in the missile industry for a while, and realized at a certain point that I was spending more hours each day practicing at a local Unitarian church, they had a fine piano, than I was at my job. And I thought this makes no sense, so I quit. And I went back to the University of Michigan to study music. Palmer Taylor's father owned drugstores in Stevens Point, Central Wisconsin. It's been a fascinating journey from that small town to an inspired career researching the disorders of the nervous system. I was always interested in chemical specificity, but the last thing I wanted to do was to work at a drugstore. As I got further into research and went uh, at the postdoctoral level, I went to the University of Cambridge. This was an unparalleled opportunity to work with Sir Arnold Burgeon. The 
father or founder of what we call molecular pharmacology and set up a laboratory um, with the Medical Research Council there. When we came from Cambridge, England, both my wife Susan and I were uh, in academic research. And what better opportunity than would exist in the early 1970s than UCSD? Here was an institution that had just started its medical school. There were opportunities for teaching. There were opportunities on the general campus for research. My wife joined the Department of Chemistry. Um, and that opportunity then just blossomed for both of us. Roger Revell embraced scientists and artists who challenged the headwinds of entrenched academia. He sought out those who dared to succeed and dared to fail. In the 1980s, Dr. Fong initiated a new direction of research called tissue engineering. By using engineering principles and technology in order to manufacture, improve, and replace living tissues. He has worked on the lung, the heart, the ureter, the intestine, and many other tissues. More recently, people are using stem cells to replace the tissues. And that is now called regenerative medicine. But that is also starting from Dr. Fong's concept and uh, activities in tissue engineering. He really defines the field of biomechanics as well as many aspects of bioengineering. At a very early stage in my career, I discovered that climate change could become a major threat. This was the year 1975, when scientists were thinking about the effect of chlorofluorocarbons, which were used as refrigerants, on the ozone layer. I started working on what effect that chlorofluorocarbons would have on the greenhouse effect on the planet. Within two months, bringing in the quantum mechanics of chlorofluorocarbons, which is how the greenhouse effect happens, I put it into a very simple theoretical model of the atmosphere. And to my utter shock, I found that each molecule of chlorofluorocarbon is 10,000 times more potent than carbon dioxide. I was one of the team put the first satellite data up there to measure the heat budget of the Earth and measure the greenhouse effect. In about 15 years from now, by 2030, the planet would be warmer than any time in the past 100,000 years, one and a half degrees Celsius. If you want to make a music which is innovative, you need to understand the, the space into which you're venturing. My training in engineering, the fact that my father was an architect, means that I'm always thinking about the, the prospect in a way that involves planning, uh, sometimes diagrammatic uh, planning and so on. I'm often fascinated by a visual artist, uh, a particular work. So the same kind of thing exists in my interest in theater. Uh, especially in Beckett in the ancient Greeks. I've written probably over a hundred uh, musical compositions of varying duration, uh, ambitiousness, and so on. The work that's most important to me now at this moment, uh, it's an intermedia project called Flight, and it involves the use of computer in a real-time capacity to literally perform to and with the live musicians. Within the School of Medicine, we started a Department of Pharmacology that was important for incorporating that basic science into the medical curriculum. But carrying the development of a drug all the way through from its initial design and eventually have some clinical potential takes the whole endeavor of a school of pharmacy. We're studying elements that relate to development of the nervous system 
and disorders of that, such as schizophrenia, and then the aging process in the nervous system that would relate to Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. UC San Diego provides and will continue to provide a locus of excellence in the United States for pharmaceutical research. UC San Diego's past, and more importantly, its future, are written in the hope and daring of Roger Ravel and the founder's original vision. It is also written in the work of the Ravel medalists being celebrated here today. <laughs>